Welcome to Coaches Weekly. I'm CJ Selner here with head men's soccer coach Michael Rongo. Coach, congrats. Three straight, most wins in a row in program history. It's got to start somewhere. And it started with your team continuing to play well, winning a tough overtime battle at Rockford in the midweek and continuing that to Saturday. Uh, the guys have been grinding. They've been working really hard, and we had three extremely difficult matches in a row. And the guys have just continued to believe in the process and take care of the little details. We continue to be a little bit cleaner on the ball, a little bit cleaner defensively, and it keeps getting better and better. And as the competition continues to rise, we're going to need those steps. And the guys up front continue to find the back of the net. Two big ones on Saturday, and this group continues to meld and grow. I think we're getting to the point where we're not going to call them freshmen anymore because they're starting to play like seasoned players that have been around the college game. Not saying that mistakes might not happen once in a while, but you can tell that this group as a whole is maturity level and soccer IQ wise at the college game have come a long way. Yeah, the guys are working very hard at, at training and they're listening to the details that we're asking of them. They're taking care of just the little things that make things a little bit better. And now they're starting to understand finally this part of the year, what it means to play at the collegiate speed. They're finally dealing with the seniors and juniors they're playing against. They haven't quite gotten there yet, but they're definitely doing a lot better than they were just two months ago. Six and six, sitting at a good spot in the table, still well in the playoff hunt, going into a week where there's a couple more tough matches, the way the conference schedule we just talked off camera, it's condensed and there's a lot going on. How do you continue to add on and build on to that maturity in training, going in, knowing you have to kind of rest? There's, a, there's a, quite a balance right now with learning, resting, and everything going forward. So one of the biggest things we're doing right now in training is handling the expectations and the what ifs. What are the different game scenarios we're going to be at, helping them understand what the possibilities are over tomorrow's match against IIT and seeing where that's going to lead and showing them it's okay, relax, things are going to happen in the match, we'll get through them, trust us that we'll get there together and letting them see it firsthand. And they've been able to work through some of those problems at training in the mornings and it's been really good. And we have to talk about a special moment for you guys, Zach Ademic giving him his senior day, didn't have an opportunity to play with your team this year. Just a very cool opportunity to have him out. Just the, how your thoughts on everything and how that went. Oh, so it was great conspiring with his dad and, and Ari, uh, his fiance beforehand, and uh, kind of planning that as a big surprise. We got on there early and we had an extra shirt we'd give him to him on his senior day. Uh, the guy has been tireless for the university. He's been tireless for the program. Uh, he had to take a few extra credits this year to finish up to be on time, and that's great for him. And I'm glad he ended up focusing on that in his career going forward, but he's always going to be a big part of the program. So moving forward to a big week, you have IIT tomorrow, as you were referring to, and then Wisconsin Lutheran here on Saturday. Being at home is always nice, knowing your own turf a little bit and how that plays. Just your overall thoughts on the two matches this week and what the outlook is going forward. I think they're both going to be very, very tough. I, we haven't beaten either one recently, and they are both going to come bring it because they're all looking at the table right now. They're all just below us by mere points, and one game changes everything for that. Uh, I think all of us are fighting for that last spot in the uh, playoff group, so we really have to come out and bring it. And if we look forward to Wisconsin Lutheran, we're going to lose tomorrow. So we have to come out and take care of, at least fight our very best tomorrow with IIT and see what happens there, and then we'll worry about Wisconsin come Thursday, Friday. Well, I look forward to seeing you and your team back out on the pitch. Cougar fans, it's a two-match home week for the Cougar men's soccer team that begins tomorrow afternoon against Illinois Tech. They are then here on Saturday afternoon against Wisconsin Lutheran, part of a doubleheader with the women's team. If you can't make it to the games, you can always find all the live links at cucougars.com slash coverage. For head coach Michael Arango, I'm CJ Sellner. Thank you for watching Coaches Weekly.